Well, Abigail Johnson is a dietitian at that clinic and she told me today that while lots of conditions are worse for people who are obese, it is important to choose the wording of these weight loss messages really carefully so that people aren't panicked into fatty diets that won't work because obesity, she says, is about far more than just the food that people eat. Mental health is one part of that. Um, you know, such as poor self-esteem and, and lack of self-care. We know that if we are sleep deprived or we've had poor quality of sleep um, or with shift work, we are eating at different times throughout the night where our body is maybe not brilliantly good at um, utilizing fats and carbohydrates as it would be during the day. Um, certainly this can um, have a huge impact. When we have poor quality of sleep, we are definitely driven to eat um, the wrong foods, so to speak. So we are more driven towards foods that are higher in um, calories. That is something that is hard to change. If that is your job or you're not sleeping because you have a child, you can't just flick a switch and turn that off, mm -hmm. can you? No, that's the thing. And I think this is where people really do struggle without being part of a specialist service because it's not just a simple case of, well, you know, just change your job then, you know, that's, that's not feasible for most people. Um, and this is where we really work with people to plan ahead of time, to think about what's more appropriate to be eating if we are having to have some of our main meals during the night. Um, and this is not common knowledge, actually. The new message has been brought on, of course, by the pandemic, but actually lockdown has really changed people's eating habits. Mm. For a, a large period of time, uh, many people did not have access to fresh food so the intakes of fresh food such as salad vegetables and fish uh, that did go down um, and that was in favor of more processed longer life foods uh, which don't tend to be as good for us um, we know as well that mental health um, people have struggled uh, quite a lot in that regard and leaving people a bit more vulnerable to things like comfort or boredom eating being stuck at home a little bit more often people are looking for that incentive to, to start the weight loss. Do you think actually coronavirus could be it for some people? Yeah, I think definitely it has brought it uh, to the front of a lot of people's minds because the coronavirus has been something that really has affected everyone, which is a, a very unique circumstance. Um, I would encourage um, anyone to ask their GP what support is available to them. Are they able to access specialist weight management services such as those that we offer here? Um, and definitely get that conversation going because it can be a really overwhelming task. And it's, you know, we know it's not just about losing the weight, it's about keeping it off in the long term. So we do need to really facilitate sustainable changes and not be looking for a quick fix because we feel like we're really under pressure to lose masses of weight very quickly.